Here's my two cents review on Intelligence, uh, 2014, January, when it premiered. I'm already smiling because I'm sorry. I know this show's for, for a lot, a huge audience. I know people like it, but it, cheese ball anybody? This is one of the most cheesiest shows that I've ever watched, and you can criticize me right away for saying that, and I'm, I totally apologize, but the problem is that I, it is what it is. Sometimes things are it is. Listen, I'm a huge fan of 24, for example. It is what it is. They don't take themselves overly serious. They, we have fun with it. There's a little bit of drama. There's a little bit of melodrama, a little bit of soap opera involved, and we have fun with it. Michael Sesman, who is the creator of Intelligence, has done has a pretty interesting career so far because he's, he's delved into um, – kind of the indie world he's had some scripts produce north county is probably his more uh more uh famous uh stories because that starts charlie so that they're on but she re he really his thematic so far as a writer is is delving into the to to americana and what people are really going through and then he creates the show intelligence that that good to see josh holloway you know circa from four years ago from his lost years the lost years that are from 2010 Pardon the pun from 2014. Where has he been in the last four years since his last run? Uh, but this show is so many filled with cliches. So I guess the concept is that this guy, um, he's uh, he's one of those CIA or Homeland operatives, and he has a, he has an uh, enhanced super chip microchip in his brain that he's able to like basically uh, figure things out. And of course, there's like an elite government cyber world where only certain people can have it and of course a sexy girl who weighs 95 pounds is his bodyguard and protects him because she's the one who can do it the best which makes no sense whatsoever why would a 95 net pound person be a bodyguard for this super intelligence person okay you take away the guns i don't care if she's great at karate whatever like that I, w I wouldn't want a 95 pound girl. I don't care how good she is. It's all about strength and, and brawn. Who would you rather have as your bodyguard? Zero sense, but I guess it adds to the sexual chemistry or we always need a sexy girl uh, as the other lead, like the blacklist or whatever the other, those other show is. It's like kind of like the, the, the work. And of course, the other female character is the boss who who is in her 40s, but she's a little bit sexy, but she's like, you know, overcompensates for her femininity to get where she is. And of course, you got the nerdy guys and, and uh, who are the his super chip person. But the whole problem is that there's a twist where one of the nerdy guys kind of like jumps to the other side. And of course, they're North Koreans and talk about the cliche, talk about stereotypes of that. Well, we'll we won't even talk about that anymore. But then this guy is basically is giving in for the money because it's always about the money for these people. That's why people sell their people are out, which is another cliche in this sci-fi action world. But then if this guy is taking care of his chip uh, every day and monitoring his chip and monitoring his brain, wouldn't there be a better way for him to manipulate the North Koreans to get his brain? If he's taking care of his brain every day, why wouldn't he do something if he's in there and he's got all clearance? Of course, another big thing that makes no sense. And of course, there's this kind of like rat-a-tat X-Files kind of like chemistry between the two of them. But of course, in these sci-fi shows, there always has to be an extra emotional element. Meaning that the super intelligence guy lost his wife and his wife is supposedly dead even though we know she's alive and that's what motivates him because there's always got to be that extra motivator. People just don't do it for the job. And what we learned through if through all they don't they take all the psychology away from human beings is that when we get too emotional in situations that are high stress we fail so this guy who's going after his wife would fail because that's what they do but of course on television i hate this show more than anything it should go away because it insults our intelligence i i'm sorry people are probably who hate who hate this show turned me off a long time uh, who like i love this show turned me off a long time ago so they're not even listening to this now but you guys know the people who know that this show is is i had to go and like read some books that actually have some substance to it because i lost four iq points after watching this show that's my review